Thanks, Stephen. Hi, my name is So Young. Um, yes, so very young. Um, I'm actually a Korean American from New York. Um, I'm Novi uh, with Novi. Novi stands for Grow Your Knowledge Into Being. I know it's really hard to spell, but uh, we're really passionate about moving beyond knowledge into actually experiential learning where the real impact is. And so I'm really excited to share with you three things. For some of you who were able to demo the app, and for those of you who want to multitask while I'm talking, I'll be totally cool with that. You can actually uh, go into this. Some of you actually have already gone in, because the best way to experience Novi is actually to just download it on your phones and try it by clicking on that link, and you'll get walked through. So if there's three things I'd like you to remember about Novi, it's actually these three points. But before I get there, how many of you are tired of having content thrown at you? And how many of us are bombarded by our content, articles, news every single day? Maybe raise two hands, right? And so the, the problem is, is that all of us, in terms of how we actually lead, learn, is not just by reading content. I can read 100 articles about leadership and be a pretty shitty leader. The, the impact is not about whether I know about leadership. It's about whether I can practice it by actually applying it. Novi is based on the latest science in adult learning, which is based on learn by doing, through peer-to-peer -peer learning, through learn by sharing, through having conversations with other people, and ultimately the most important, powerful way to learn is actually by teaching. And we believe that anyone can teach. Because isn't it true that who knows the best about sales? Salespeople. Who knows the best about finance? Finance people. So let me just demo for you exactly what I'm talking about. So for those of you who have the app, oops, I'm gonna go. Uh, okay. So in terms of the app, oh, in terms of the app, it, we also we are mobile first. Mobile first is actually very critical because in mobile first, there's a lot of fun things you can do, like upload photos, all that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna show you the web version because you know we do have people who still like to be at the web, right? And how many of you actually, when you're thinking about content, actually might want to access it not from behind your desk, right? While you're on the road, while you're actually running around, while you're waiting in a taxi, while you're on the road, where a lot of people are now in the mobile workforce, no longer sitting behind desks. So I actually created this program just for the Silicon Valley New Tech uh, Meetups. So if you look at the sessions, we have six sessions kind of in there. It's also on your mobile. And so if you were to start with the what and why, the first point I made is learn by doing. It's no longer just about videos. So by the way, if you guys do download this program and finish it, you will get a surprise at the end. So I do encourage you to go through it on your free time until session six, and you'll get surprises in your email inbox. So first, you would actually read about maximizing your learning journey. After you go through that experience, it kind of talks you through. You check the box. You go on to the next session. You give, it, you give the phone a little shake, 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 and actually you will be able to uh, report any issues with that. I click ahead. And I'm now I've been asked a question, and now I have to reflect and think about not just what you told me, but what does it mean to me, because that's actually how I learn stuff as an adult. So you answer the question, I chose to share it, so now let's, let's kind of see if there's other people who share stuff. And let's go into journey. This is learn by sharing. So thank you for those of you who are actually in the app and sharing. I'm now able to have a conversation in context of the topic we were discussing, I actually love this photo, this is cool. I can ask him a question. What did you mean by that? I can click and message Rock, who's my CTO. I can see all the programs he's completed. He's completed Unicorn Hatch. This is actually an onboarding for his apartment and his house, which he created. So you can actually message anyone real time in the app. And so as you go through the different use cases, you're actually even able to upload photos to prove that you've actually done it. And so the, the learn by doing aspect is a critical part of that learning experience. That was point number one. Novi is about learn by doing. Second, by learn through sharing. The killer thing, you guys ready for it? Learn by, learn by teaching. Anyone in the world can teach. Now what I'm gonna show you is if you go into your phones, I'm gonna, I actually created a special program actually called Silicon Valley New Tech. If I switch to this program in my Novify app, Novify actually gives me the opportunity to create and design new program instantly. So I started a program, if you notice, if you downloaded, there's only one session there. Uh, okay, okay, 
downloading. So I, I downloaded one session, and guess how long it took me to create that session six that I showed you? It took me about 10 minutes. So here I am in Novify, and I've actually created Hello or Novi. I want to actually do a video from my phone while I'm sitting around to actually talk about my learning point. Hi guys, I'm super excited to be here at Novi. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong place. I'm going to retake that. Right, so you can actually make fixes real time from your phone. You can talk to your team about their agendas, etc., from your phone and save it. And then I actually ask the question, what questions do you have about my pitch? And by doing it real time, if you actually have it on your phone, you'll be able to see it. And then I've actually asked you to smile, upload a picture of yourself, and get to know the, the community. So this program I've just c c created instantly is actually on your phone. So for those of you who have access, if I, all my little typos I just made in the video I just changed, if you download it, it actually opens instantly. So that's the whole idea that anyone, imagine you put this tool in the hands of your managers, your people. I see an issue with what my team is doing. I can't wait till next week. I'll snap a photo, upload it. I'm having an inspiration. I read a great article. I want to share it with my whole team. I can upload it immediately and create learning moments every single day and every single moment. Thank you. I created this, by the way, in about mm, seven minutes. So I created this whole session in about seven minutes. And I, most of my programs I created for my bed. <laughs> Questions? Do you have any metrics on the effectiveness of Novi? That's a great question. Of course. So on the back end, and because companies care a lot about metrics, and that's actually really, really critical, I actually have here the dashboard. So in fact, for this evening, I already know who's actually downloaded the app and who's actually accessed it in a very, very simple, easy to use green dot. So of course, um, if you were to be adding and, and downloading, I would see your name pop up instantly and we have a dashboard. So I'm going to show you with you one of my real clients because uh, this is probably a little bit more impressive. We are seeing engagement rates, so about 70 to 80% on programs. And this is on self-directed learning. Of course, compliance and mandatory programs, you should get 100% because they have to. So the critical metric is, is it fun and engaging? Or even if it's self-directed and it's your choice, you choose to engage. And this is actually a self-directed program, 70 to 80% engagements, um, compared to, I would say, less than 10% in the learning system, which I'm, I'm sure um, you know, uh, the work guys can talk about. So this is actually 76% actions completed. And as you go through with the green dots, I can quickly and easily see who I need to spend time with. Yes. How do you share it with your team? Um, instantly. So as soon as I create the program in Novify, I'm able to go, and by the way, Novify is available to everyone for free. Um, if you want to actually create programs for your teams today, um, if you want to get the dashboard analytics, then you can upgrade to the Novify Pro to pay for it. But if I go, if you see on my screen here, once I've created this program in Novify, and that little pen mark tells me that I'm the curator, you can just go into share. I can share via text, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, Slack, whatever. And it's just a little link. So that little link I gave you in the beginning was actually the link that you would share with other people. And for those of you who want to make money off of it, um, basically you're a coach, trainer, you want to create a program, we have an Obi shop. So you'd be able to share that link, create an Obi shop, and make money from it. Oh, yes. I have two questions. What is your revenue model and, and what kind of bottleneck do you have to grow? Do you need developers, do you need investors or clients or so? Oh, excellent question. Our question was what is our revenue model and what is our bottleneck? Our revenue model is enterprise SaaS subscription. So it's a per user per month basis. Um, the second one, what is our bottleneck? We're looking for investors. Because we're actually in seed right now. We're planning to do a series A in six to twelve months. We're actually already getting revenues and you know, people kind of fall out of their chair when we create the content for them in five minutes. So, um, so we're seeing a lot of traction, and so we're looking for investment to grow, and we're ready now to do business development and start to sell. We haven't done much sales. We don't have any full-time salespeople yet, so it's probably time to do that. <laughs> Last question. What is your most successful monetization for somebody who sold courseware? Um, we have actually the selling of the courseware yet. We, that's something that we, this Novify, we just launched that two weeks ago. 
So we actually have really been focused on enterprise. That's our number one priority. So we actually haven't even marketed the whole Courseware thing yet. So that's very, very new. Okay. But um, I hope, you know, our dream is to help make people make millions, you know, so. Um, and the idea of mobile learning and mobile engagement, this is the future of learning. And so people are not going to be, and, and you know, if you want to reach a billion people, which is our vision, to reach a billion people in the world, they're not going to be doing it from their desktops. They're going to be doing it on their mobile phones. And so when you're mobile first, you can get gamification. And I didn't, so if you take this program, you'll kind of see the pop-ups that show up. You'll see little surprise emails that pop. You don't know where they come. It's like Pokemon. You don't know, the po you don't know where they are, but they'll pop up. So it, you make it fun. And when you make engagement fun, you just, Swipe, 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 right? So you can do all these things when you're mobile first, which you can't do on web. Yeah. I think there was one more question, and I think we're out of time. Is it engagement effectiveness the same as learning effectiveness? Um, a great question. Is engagement effectiveness the same as learning? Um, no, it's not. So I think engagement, you, in order to get learning, you first need to engage first. So once you engage, then you have to apply that. So we do from a reflection, so that's what we have learn, think, apply, that's our model. You learn the content, but you have to engage first, then you think about it, and you make meaning from it, and you remember it, then you have to apply it. So our model actually enables behavior change to learn, think, and apply. So I think you have to be a bridge of measuring engagement, but I, I didn't understand how you measure the final effectiveness. Oh, we have a lot of different KPIs. So we have custom KPIs, so companies can actually put it as a game or as a pop-up, Assessments like how much, how confident do I feel about this? So one of our clients was doing service trainings with their part-time staff. They have 80% turnover all the time. So on session one, we asked them, how confident do you feel as a service ambassador? And then like at session six, we asked the same question again, and we saw a three-time increase, like 300% increase in confidence level. So that's one way. Another knowledge gained, it could be um, assessments pre and post. So we actually have embedded and gamified even the assessment process and KPIs because companies love KPIs. So you have to get all of that in um, and we kind of pop it up so that as a person, you're not doing these boring surveys anymore. You kind of get a pop up, it looks like a star, and then you keep going on and you just feel like you're doing a game. Thank you. <laughs>